I don't know what to do. We don't know what we're doing, guys. She Hi. also has her own channel. My channel is the Bridget Walker, actually. <laughs> okay, well, I'll put her um, info in the description below. We've been sitting here for almost three hours and <laughs> haven't come up with any new ideas. Literally. We were gonna talk about. Um, Are we still gonna do that on your channel? No, no, because it's getting too close to home, right? Because, like, I don't want people to watch, people that I know to watch it and like know that I'm like awesome. <laughs> We were gonna talk about like qualities of a narcissist like in a woman and a man Most of the time they're similar But like I don't know if we want to talk about them We don't know if we want to talk about it anymore <laughs> Because like Okay, let's just be real, because we already like low key started. <laughs> so, let's just, I know I was like, let's just keep going. You know, like, there's too many people too close to us in life who like legitimately fit the description, and they watch our videos. See, the problem with a narcissist is like they can't tell that they're narcissists, so they're just gonna think they were talking shit. They don't think that anything's wrong with them. Like, they literally don't think anything that they're doing is wrong. And, um, <laughs> so many thoughts go through my head when I talking know. about it, and I don't know what to say because I'm just like, um, <laughs> awkward laughs. <laughs> Another characteristic of a narcissist is that they have, oh god, they have no empathy, and like, oh god, he's gonna know what to do. <laughs> They can understand your point of view and they can be there to comfort you. You need someone to listen to you or you need someone to like bend to, but they're probably not the best people to go to that for because in their mind, they don't really care because it has nothing to do with them. They will never empathize with you. Like they'll never feel what you're feeling. Like I was just thinking about this too. Like there's something that's also, and like I just like, I feel like this is gonna sound crazy, but like there's something that's also like attractive about a narcissist. <laughs> I think that's why I attract. <laughs> exactly. I think it's because like they're hard to read. Yeah. So because they're like mysterious. But that's the thing. That's a characteristic of them is they'll like portray this like really nice person who will yeah. do this and that for you and then like really later down. later down the road they'll like manip manipulate you um like good actors yes like the that you're huh <laughs> oh my god really <laughs> they'll make you think you're crazy what do i say like they'll blow it up and how do you say it what's that saying they'll, they'll like blow it up and bigger than it or yeah bigger than proportion <laughs> how do you say it it out of oh out of blow it out of proportion yeah. yes like even if <laughs> a narcissist is when it's like you're upset about something you're just upset about something mm -hmm. and you bring it to them because you're allowed to be upset about things in life mm -hmm. or whatever and like maybe they're valid maybe they're not but like you're allowed to bring that to somebody or whatever yeah and when you bring it to them they make it's it all like, about them yeah they make it like oh like this problem you have with me is actually your fault okay so like a big thing that i would always think is like if they were ask, if they were acting like that i'm like me as a person i can accept that i'm not perfect and like even if somebody comes to me with something that they feel like i did wrong and i literally am like bro you're crazy like this is not like a big deal like it's like i didn't do anything freaking wrong like i can still accept that like i might have hurt their feelings like i might have like just like hurt them and so it's like you have to be able like I feel like that's where a lot of narcissists can't do is like be able to like be like, like responsibility for their actions yeah. or like how they make you feel or how they make you feel because it's yeah. like even if they take responsibility for their actions they like feel like their actions are your fault so it's like it's not really their responsibility it's really just like 
they did these actions out of reaction to you. Oh my god, this is such a characteristic of a narcissist. I want to put this in the video while at the same time. Don't be like, <laughs> okay, but basically he was saying like, you can't get mad at someone of how they react to you doing something. Like, if someone throws a jab at you, I'm not just gonna sit there and take it. Like, I'm gonna jab back. But I feel like that's such a narcissistic thing to say because yeah. like if you really care for that first person Then you wouldn't want to jab at them in the first place You would just be like if you were hurt about something that I said or did Then you should just bring it to my attention like hey that wasn't cool Like maybe like you should have brought it up in this way or whatever Like you shouldn't just just because I make you feel some type of way And like most of the time it's not on purpose like from my end yeah. And then you just try to throw a jab at me to make me feel like shit just because like I unknowingly said something that hurt you. Yeah, because that's a, that's the thing, annoy, unknowingly. Because like that would happen to me a lot. Like, <laughs> <no. laughs> the person who that would happen with, I honestly don't care if they see this. So, um, like that would happen to me a lot, and I felt like basically like like okay, if I like I say a lot of things and I just don't think before I speak. Like I just mm -hmm. like freaking say shit. And I'm more of an emotional person, so if like something pisses me off, like I'm gonna say it right away. I don't necessarily think about it. You I know? do that, but that's like not what I'm talking about. I'm saying like even like just when I'm chill, like sometimes I say things that like could be like insulting, like mm -hmm. like without thinking about it. Like mm -hmm. a lot of times that would happen with my ex, like I would just say something that like I don't know, it would just like make him mad and like it would just hurt his feelings, I guess, or something. But like instead of being like Oh, like this hurt my feelings like he would just like be petty back at me and I was like but I wasn't trying to be petty in the first place I literally just said that and then you just said something like I could tell like you said that on purpose like mm -hmm. you would never say that otherwise yeah and I'm just like why couldn't you just like pause for a second and be like oh like this is someone who loves me and would not want to hurt me so like maybe if they're saying something like this they're not saying it what to hurt say? me <laughs> I don't know like I'm trying to remember because like I've blocked out a lot of that relationship from my memory <laughs> so like I don't remember exactly what I would say but like there would be just times where it would be like um like Oh, like maybe we'd be like joking around and like I would make like a joke about like his hair or something like that and like I would make like a joke that like like he would make two kind of thing and then like he would like try to make a joke specifically about something he knows I'm like insecure about uh, like he like if I made a joke about like his curls being dry Mm -hmm. He'd be like, like something that he also jokes about, like saying, like, oh, like I don't have conditioner or whatever, like when my curls dry, fucking dry, <laughs> dry the Sahara Desert, something like that. <laughs> I'd make a joke about that too, be like, yeah, I need some camels up in this hand, or like something like that. And then he's like, like well, bitch, you need to like, lose weight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he'd be like, well, bitch, with your small ass titties. <laughs> like, what did I do to you? Whoa, who hurt you? <laughs> Cause okay, like it's like if you've ever had like a friend who's like that, like there's like there's like some people who it's like your friends who you want to go out and like just do random things with because like you enjoy being in their company and like there's like certain people who like know that they're like fun to be around I guess mm -hmm. and um it's like they give off that vibe that they know that they're fun to be around <laughs> even if they're not like. Uh, anything really special but it's like they just like they know that like they know that this friendship is because they're interesting and you want to be around them and not like, it's also the kind of around. like narcissistic people want to hang out with certain people because of their status because they need something from them like what you said not necessarily because they want to hang out with them because you know they like that person's personality or whatever they have the same interest but mostly it's just because it's like oh you're in the music industry Ooh, like let's be friends in their mind it's like well maybe like i could be good friends with this person and they can give me like a record deal or some shit like that yeah, like yeah. it's always about them like they're thinking about their end goal like what's useful to them yeah or even like the um the successful friend who's like they they know that they have like a bunch of success and stuff like that and so they know that like the reason why or they think that the reason why everyone wants to hang out with them like okay 
we would hang out a lot and stuff like that and now whenever we hang out it's like she acts like she knows she's like has clout mm -hmm. and she thinks that that's why i want to be around her oh, but I like i'm like dude like i just like you as a person like yeah i don't really like we don't have to take a picture together i could care less if we post it when they like when they when it feels like they're using you as like an accessory to their success <laughs> like <laughs> i always get like smile line creases <laughs> and I'm like, oh, video. <laughs> but no like she like oh <laughs> <laughs> No, like this, we're catching ourselves so much in this video. We're like, oh shit, oh shit. If you have like a friend who's a narcissist, like it's like they use you as like an accessory to their success. So they like want to bring you around their friends as like, oh, like this is my cute friend or whatever. But like they don't ever want to come to your stuff. Like mm -hmm. they only ever want to bring you around when they when they need to look like they have. Yes, yes, yes. Like okay, narcissists will literally only do something if it's convenient for them yeah if you feel like you're the one always putting in an effort you're the one always going to their house you're the one always asking to hang out you're the one always calling or all the opposite shit, like, like you're the one who's like they only invite you to stuff and they refuse to like be a part of your life in any way like they refuse to like come around your friends come around your family like mm -hmm. and you invite them to stuff and they yeah. just like don't want to come like yeah for no reason so i just thought of something else i don't know what we were talking about before the camera died yeah. but um yeah. you're standing outside a club or you're just walking or whatever and a guy like cat calls at you or he says something to you and and then he asks you out or he asks for your number or something and you're just like no thank you like i'm not interested and they'll be like well you're ugly anyway like well psh, girl you're not even cute or they'll say something like Oh, you're a bitch. You know, right, like insult yeah, you. Okay. And that's it's why like, you wanted to talk to me. Oh, exactly, yeah, okay. right? Like that's why you wanted my number because I'm a bitch. <sighs> or whatever. Because that's the other thing, like in like the club and stuff like that. Like I hate dudes who like literally get mad at you for like being like, bro, I don't want you. Like yeah, like they'll just they grab, grab you. Butt, like, it's like what do you? How do you expect me to react if you're just grabbing? Like I don't even know you. At least say hi. At least ask for my name or something. For real. <laughs> Like, ask me if I want to dance and maybe I'll dance with you. <laughs> maybe. And even then, it's maybe. Yeah. You're not entitled to dance with me. Just because I'm. Uh, here's the thing, too. Like, I feel like we're getting off track a lot, but I feel like guys are so dumb. They're like, oh, you're single. Like, oh, you're taken? Like, why are you even in the club? Bitch, oh, I'm not here for that's you. That's like something. Okay, like, I just want to put my camera on because that's literally I want to take a video about it. Okay. Like, we'll, we'll save that for yours then. Yeah, yeah. Wait, um, let me write that down. Like, just like really quick. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, but we should talk about because earlier you touched on like you said there's something about like narcissistic people that's attractive. Oh yeah, we should touch. On that. Yeah, like when yeah. you said that, I was like I wanted to like say more on it, but then we started talking about like other stuff. Yeah. Okay. So like, there's definitely like something about it that's like attractive, and I think like a big part of it is like as humans, especially as girls, like we, we want something we can't have. We want something we can't have, and then we also are attracted to something who, that knows that it's attractive. Like, mm -hmm. we're attracted to confidence. Like, we're yeah, attracted yeah. to something that, like, it's not chasing. It's not, like, acting like, um... Like, they kind of have this, like, they have a, such a strong sense of self that that's attractive yeah. because we're like, oh shit, like, you know who you are, and you know, you know what you like, you know what you want, so, like, if I'm dating you, it kind of like, oh, I'm something that you want. Like, it kind of like makes you feel good. And don't get me wrong, like, I'm like one, I love like attention. Like, I want you to pay attention to me. But like, there's something attractive about <coughs> someone who, and this is what I like notice, like, I end up attracted to a lot with guys, um, is like, they're chasing because they're interested. But like, there's a clear delineation between them chasing because they're interested and chasing because they think you're like special. Like, and so it's like you're matching their cool versus like being like a prize to them. I like matching them more than I like being like so many prize thoughts like went through my head person. like as you were talking. I was like, shit, I want to say this, I want to say this. <laughs> like, no, it's kind of like disappeared. But I was gonna say. There's like a difference though between being confident and being narcissistic because confidence yeah. is like I know who I am and like I have these flaws but I can accept it and like yeah. I can just like flaunt it because I learned to love myself Wouldn't whereas be like so sexy oh my god <laughs> <laughs> like to meet a guy who talks like that like 
I have flaws, but I know my flaws. And like, he's legit, like, he actually is talking about the things that you've noticed are his flaws mm -hmm. too. And he's like, yeah, okay, like, I'm admitting to my flaws. Like, I can admit to it when you call it out too. But like, I'm still confident in myself mm -hmm. and I still fucking love myself. Yeah. And I still think you should be into me. <laughs> like, that would be so, that would be so cool. Like, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> no, but there's a difference between that and like a narcissist, whereas like, they <sighs> feel like they don't have flaws. No, it's not that, but it's just like, I can't explain confidence, but I can't explain like how a narcissistic person like views themselves. Like, okay, basically it's like they like know that they have flaws and stuff, but they only want to change it if it's going to benefit them. It's not like they can see that it's like hurting someone or like harming you that they care about and then they want to like change because they want to be a better person to be with someone oh, or something like that. Oh, that that made me like remember something. It's never like them empathizing with you or feeling sympathy or anything. It's more like they'll change their actions because they know that the way that they act originally isn't necessarily like accepted so much by society yeah, so that's like true. they'll still have the same thought process as like they'll still have the same judgment of you or like opinion of you but they'll change the way that they they react so that it's more acceptable even if they think a certain way they'll word it differently if they're aware of it that is if they're aware of it then they'll word the way that they say things differently just so it doesn't hurt you because it's kind of hard for them because they don't have empathy it's hard for them to say it in a way where it wouldn't hurt you necessarily and a lot of the time like they're brutally honest because they don't have empathy so they'll say shit not realize that it hurts you See, and then <laughs> I mean like you can be honest but at the same time it's like they don't care about your like your feelings when they yeah. say it yeah you know and so it's like the after that matters like mm -hmm. I'm really honest and I'll hurt people but like when I realize that I've hurt somebody then I'm like oh like and then I have to go back and like explain why I said it the way I said it mm -hmm. what I meant by like deep down like being honest and like also never like leave someone in like the mess like if you yeah. yeah if you're gonna tell somebody that there's something wrong with them like you have to be able to like give Help them, them a through it or like yeah, yeah. Just, like but, otherwise um, keep that shit to yourself like you're not their parent like yeah there's always a better way to say things i feel like if you're in a fight with someone like say your significant other or whatever a person who has empathy wouldn't want you to feel some type of way about the situation like they wouldn't just leave you hanging but if they're a narcissist they like won't care like they won't really care like they'll just be like well i'm mad right now like i need my time and like just leave you hanging there feeling like well shit like what did i do wrong i can't even explain myself because he's not letting me like talk to him he's just like no like you you piss me off like i don't want to see you right now like i don't want to be around you and like i've never felt that way before like about like my significant other if i fought with them i always like still wanted to be around them because i care for that person yeah. but a narcissist i feel like they don't want to be around you like when they're so you angry. Can play with your, your emotions too because that's the thing like that would happen to me sometimes but like okay so i understand somebody getting mad and like being upset about something and they need alone time i understand that and like you don't, you don't want to be around anyone mm -hmm. but it's like you can't say like you're mad you need alone time and then you like when i'm like okay like i'm gonna leave like and i'm chill about it and i'm like okay i'll give you your alone time then you're like, oh, like, I, no, I wanted you to be upset, basically. <laughs> like, I want you to, like, like come back or whatever, like, and keep arguing with me. Like, that's, like, manipulation. Like, because that would happen a lot, like, where it's, mm -hmm. like, yeah, that's I've like, said my truth. And, like, you want to keep arguing with me, like, over text and keep being upset and, like, stuff like that. And it's, like, like you've already said, like, you want to take your alone time because yeah. you understand what I'm saying. Like, you want to think or whatever. But then when I'm, like, okay with you taking your alone time to do that, you're, like, oh, no, I want to keep arguing. Yeah, like, but you know, you're wrong. And da, 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 da. Uh -huh. I feel like I like I don't know if I explained that well, but like, no, yeah, I I understood it. Like they're only doing that just so you can because they want to get a certain type of reaction out of you, so they act that way. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Whereas like in your situation, it's like manipulation. Mm -hmm. Whereas in my situation, he's only thinking about himself. Don't you don't never think about your relationship as like us and we. You never consider that person for your future. Like I. I'm going to this concert later on and I want you to go with me or something like that. It's oh, see, yeah, my ex used to do that. I used to hurt so much. Like, he would, like, get excited about doing stuff, like, 
on his own, but never get excited about doing stuff like with me. Yeah. Like, it was like if he heard about like some artist that we both like, he'd be like, I can't wait to go to this concert. And then like I'm an afterthought of like. Mm -hmm. You're always like second thought because. Cause you're only a convenience. Yeah. yeah. Whereas like me, I'm like I see if there's an artist that like both of us like, I see it and I immediately think of you and I'm like, yeah, I want to go with this person. Like I like we have to go. Like we are going. Like yeah. Like, I don't care what you're doing. Like you're dropping everything. We're coming <laughs> with me. They always feel like they could be doing something else. They could be working. They could be spending their time doing this and that. But like if they have some extra time, then they'll give it to you because it's convenient for them. Fine. Hopefully one day. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely gonna be fine because it's like be definitely messy. messy right now. But anyway, so, so yeah, I feel like we talked a lot. I feel like I talked a lot. <laughs> and um, open the like Pandora's box. <laughs> it got messy, girl. <laughs> it did. Um, I feel like we exposed so many people. But <laughs> do you have any like last words? like anything else you want to say? I guess like, okay, on like a serious note, anybody can be a narcissist, a girl or a guy, and like- just I feel like everyone has a little bit of narcissistic traits, yeah. especially like in this age, but- But just like protect yourself, like protect your heart, because like, narcissists can really fuck you up. Yeah, look for the red signs, girl, because we're boy. <laughs> yeah, they can make you feel like you, like everything is really your fault and it truly is like what you said earlier it truly is hard to get out of that type of relationship because they're so good at manipulating you and making you think that like you did something wrong when really it was them and they just kind of flipped it on you and i think like a big t key too is like keep your friends around because i know i've like been had like that tendency to like drop a bunch of friends for like a guy or whatever and i end up like once you drop all the friends and you're still in the relationship like so much stuff is so much more confusing because you don't have anybody to talk to about yeah. it and that's another strong trait of a narcissist that we didn't even like touch on but like they don't like you to have you friends. think that's narcissist or that's like psychopath <laughs> Ooh. i no i think it's both because i remember the guy was like saying something about like narcissists don't like friends but like i think psychopaths don't like friends either what's a psychopath psychopaths is like that's like way more serious like psychopath and like sociopath i think it's like basically yeah what's the difference between sociopath and psychopath i don't know what the difference between we're the going two. into a new next video <laughs> <laughs> a new topic right there but i think it's like basically when they don't experience emotions themselves and then um they basically like can that's when it emotions. like become like, like, more physically and mentally abusive i feel like yeah i think a sociopath and a where they kind of like get this pleasure out of like making you feel pain. Yeah, it's like also like a pleasure thing too. Whereas like narcissists don't necessarily want to hurt you. I feel but like they that's like sadistic. Do. Yeah, like I feel like narcissists don't mean to hurt you, but they only do because they can't help it. Yeah, they can't help it. Like because they want everything to be about them. Um, they need to find someone, like I feel like a narcissist needs to find someone who like genuinely loves praising you. <laughs> yeah, like they really think you're like the freaking bee's knees yeah. <laughs> and they want to spend the rest of their life like praising the shit out of you. Which like, you know, there's somebody for everybody, so yeah. maybe. Like, you know, like mass and sadists. <laughs> I think that's, yeah. that's it, but um, go follow Bridget because she has some cool content and then we're about to film another video on for her channel. channel. So go ahead and click that. I'll probably put it like somewhere on the screen. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you stayed for this full video, it's probably gonna be a long one, huh? Mm -hmm. I feel like that. Yeah, because yeah, we talked forever. <laughs> this is this is my outro. Stay cake, stay fierce. <laughs> Even though like I feel weird saying it in these types of videos because I'm like not actually doing makeup, but I feel like it's your thing. I don't know. Do you want me to say it with you? What is yeah. it? Yeah. Stay, stay cake, stay fierce, fierce, and I'll see you over her video. <laughs> Bye.